me a thumbs up from Seamus Heaney there. Once we had Seamus Heaney involved in this project and, and very interested in working with us on this series, we had then suggested to him to use a couple of different narrators. And um, Seamus kind of listened to us and then he said, well, well, what about Billy Connolly? Aesop tells a tale. Aesop, my author. He's highly intelligent. And I saw him in a movie called uh, Mrs. Brown, where he acted uh, John Brown, the servant to Queen Victoria. It established him in my mind as somebody with possibilities other than the, the wild man doing the comic act on the stage, which is also deeply attractive. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. Mr. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly. I've invented a new form of vision. It's called nutting the salmon. <laughs> There's one, John. <laughs> so I thought that that wildiness and wildness from the comic side of his performance and the strength of his performance as an actor, that those would be two qualities to combine because that's what we have in Henderson also. This country mouse, when winter came, endured cold and hunger and extreme distress. He also had the accent, of course, which is not to be uh, disrespected either. He obviously had a, um, a sudden, you know, predisposition to working on this kind of material. That's a subject matter quite close to his heart. To live on earth and know the greatest joy, content yourself with just a few possessions. He got on brilliantly with uh, Seamus, you know, the two of them have a, had an instant rapport. The two of them were actually quite in, in awe of each other, you know. We're very lucky. <laughs> And I said to him, I said, did you find this difficult? And he said, no. <laughs> uh, pacing, pacing is the whole thing, isn't it? I mean, and, and uh, reading verse, I think, keeping the, keeping the line ending and giving Aye. a sense of the shape and the movement. Well, I had a wee go in bed last night, so I had it in my head. I wasn't speaking out, though. I was just reading it and uh, speaking it into myself. Because the, the verse can be quite concealed. Yes. There can be a dodgy way to get yeah, there. Yeah. And if you get it, it's lovely. You get a yes, little right. lift. Yes, a little... Yes. What I liked was the way you kept the meter and respected the shape on the page. There's a definite meter there. Yeah. And there's and the, the, the comma is a mighty beast. <laughs> yes. you know? yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love him. He's great. He's, he's uh, how can I put it? He's a lot gentler than I expected him to be. For some reason, I thought he'd be more aggressive. I don't know why. Never have I met him before. But he's a big, gentle dumpling. It's lovely. We're getting very fastidious here. <laughs> I think he's amazing. Yeah, because his reputation swells before him. It's kind of scary having you sitting out here. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I admired Billy Connolly when he was doing the, uh, the comedy, reading the verse. He is, after all, a world star and so on. But he took instruction. And he was as ready to get the thing right for himself and for the director. When, when my mum wore you, just felt as though you were rushing that a wee bit at the beginning. Okay. I think yours. I'm glad that I made a mistake. Man. I wanted to do that again. I thought that there was total professionalism, and uh, that was something made it a pleasure to work with him. Can I go? All you, sir. The Carter Howls, a gutting I'll give you, a herring treat. A second helping that you'll not forget. It was quite an interesting recording session because, as I recall, Seamus Heaney was actually editing his own work during the recording session. Billy would narrate an entire stanza. Of course, he, he narrated them with great gusto and, and drama and so forth, but sometimes he got stuck at certain words and Seamus was sitting there with the book in hand and he would then suggest an alternative word which should flow a little bit better. Then Wolf said... I will risk it. We must fetch that lent feed here. That was great. Uh, hang on, I just want to have a wee chat with Tim here. If you couldn't see the text, you might find that a little confusing if it's all run together. I just wondered whether we must fetch that lent feed here, maybe. Maybe do something untoward and change it to lent food. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah. We, we must fetch the lent food. Cattle feed. That would be better, actually, Yes. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, could you go back a page to uh, we must fetch that Lent feed? Can we change it to that Lent food? Lent food? I was thinking of a feed in the northern sense. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then Wolf said, I will risk it. We must fetch that Lent food he 